Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Chris here, founder and CEO of Trade Masters. So today's video is going to be about uh, first source solutions. It comes under the IT sector. And uh, the current market price of uh, first source solution is around 116 rupees per share. And uh, this is a mid cap industry. So the market capitalization of uh, FSL is a little bit above 8,000 crore. So it is well above the 5,000 crore mark. So it comes under the uh, segment of mid cap industry. Okay, so let's get into the technical viewpoint. So the time frame that I'm using is a weekly time frame, and uh, if you look at uh, the fall of FSL from its high, it has uh, fallen almost uh, 61 percent. So there is a good level of retracement uh, for FSL, and uh, it is the right time to invest in uh, first source solutions as well. Okay, so we have almost a 60 percentage fall, and from here we are expecting uh, FSL to uh, make a quick reversal and uh, you know move up in the coming few uh, weeks and months. Okay, so we'll be looking at uh, this portion in the later part of uh, the in the later part of the video. Okay, so I'm switching over to daily time frame to show it in to show it clearly. So this level was marking as a good level of resistance. So this level was marking as a good level of res support. Sorry. Yeah. So this level was marking as a good level of support for FSL. Okay. So previously it was acting as a resistance and uh, it got broken out and was started acting as a support. And once again, uh, FSL is taking support over here. Right. So this is a good level of support zone and we already have a 60 percentage fall in this particular script and we are expecting a quick, uh, quick rebound from this area and uh, the script has to go up in the coming few weeks. Okay, so I'm switching over to weekly, sorry, four hour time frame to show that, uh, to show the current pattern that is formed in FSL. If you look at FSL a little bit closely, we have a cup and handle pattern. So this is a cup and uh, this is a handle that is uh, formed over here okay and uh, this is the immediate resistance okay so this is a cup and handle that is formed over here so this is a cup and this is a handle and uh, this is the immediate resistance over here so this that is around uh, 112 rupees was the immediate resistance and uh, uh, somewhere around last week we uh, see that uh, the resistance also got broken out so the cup and paddle cup and handle pattern is a valid pattern right now and uh, we the stock has already started to move up okay so there's a good uh, volume uh, in this particular strip for the last week and uh, uh, the breakout happened at 112 and we also have a retest so this this candle is a breakout candle and the next two candles is a retest candle and the third candle and fourth candle are started basically starting the uh, rally from the breakout zone okay so right now it's a good uh, time to invest in uh, first source solutions so my expectation is uh, uh, buy and dip still 112 so i'm not sure whether it will be coming down till 112 so i am planning to enter a 50 percentage of my uh, capital that i am planning to allocate for this particular trade Okay, so I'll be entering 50% at the current market price and 50% if it comes in dips, maybe somewhere around 114 or 112 if it comes down, I'll be entering more and more at that particular zone. Okay, so my target is going to be, uh, we have uh, uh, short term targets as well and uh, I have a long term targets as well. For the first short term target is going to be 125. So this is going to be my first uh, short term target and uh, my next uh, short term target is going to be 135. Okay, so 125 is my first target and 135 is my uh, second target. Let me just plot it in the graph itself. So this is my first short term target. So this is my second short term target. Okay, so these two are my first and second uh, short term targets and the time frame for uh, my first and second short term target to reach is anywhere between uh, uh, two months to four months. Okay, so four months is the maximum period for uh, target two that is 135 levels to be done. Okay, so if you're calculating it from uh, uh, the percentage perspective, we'll be making an approximate returns of 20 percentage and within a maximum holding period of <coughs> four months. Okay, so these two are my uh, short term uh, uh, targets. And uh, coming to the long term perspective, so FSL has already uh, you know, broken the resistance and the, it is indicating a good uptrend as well. So, okay. So, coming to the long term targets, my long term target, first long term target is going to be 190, and my second long term target is going to be the previous year that is 240. Okay. So, these two are going to be my uh, long term targets. Let me just delete this. <coughs> 
okay so uh, my short term target is going to be 125 and my short term target too is going to be 135 so these two are short term targets and the holding period for uh, short term target is that is 135 to reaches uh, maximum of four months so it can it can reach anywhere between two months to four months okay my long term target is uh, 190 and my second long term target is uh, 240 that is the previous high and uh, the time frame for long term targets to reach is anywhere between one year to 1.5 years so 1.5 years is the maximum period that uh, fsl can take to reach a target of 240 so that is uh, the expectation out of fsl okay and if you're calculating it from the percentage uh, perspective as well we'll be making an approximate returns of 100 and 12 percentage right so 112 percentage is going to be the returns for on a long term basis so if your 112 percent returns within a holding period of 1.5 years is a pretty good uh, investment what i would say so your capital is basically uh, basically uh, getting uh, more than double within a period of 1.5 years so that is a pretty good investment in the current market scenario okay and not to mention that nifty is also you know moving up and uh, we have a clear cut direction that nifty can break the previous high and uh, it is also going to be bullish in the long run Right, so this is the right time to invest in FSO. Okay, so coming to the stop loss. So stop loss, I'm uh, planning to keep anywhere uh, below the previous low. So, so this stop loss is for the long term targets. So anywhere below the previous low, that is uh, maybe around 90 can be my stop loss. So for a risk of only, uh, uh, let me give you the risk reward perspective as well. So this is going to be my entry price. Okay, and my stop loss is going to be below the previous low. That is, uh, I'm, I'm choosing 90 to be my stop loss. So when my long term target one is done, I'll be making an approximate risk reward of one is to three point uh, three. And once my long term target two is done, I'll be making a risk reward of one is to five point six. So for a risk of only uh, uh, somewhere around uh, twenty to twenty five points, my reward is going to be almost uh, how much? Uh, close to one hundred and twenty points, right? So my risk reward is also going to be one is to five point six. So that is a pretty good risk reward ratio. What we can expect out of FSL, and it is a very good time to invest in FSL. Okay, so let's uh, look at the fund, some of the fundamental characteristics as well. So coming to the high and low, so we are uh, basically entering at uh, the 52 week low. So the 52 week low is basically 93 rupees, and the current market price is somewhere around 116. So it is basically close to the 52 week low. Uh, so it's uh, also this is also indicating a good time to invest in this particular trip. And if you look at uh, uh, the balance sheet, sorry, the profit and loss statement. So the company has been generating consistent profits in the past uh, 10 years, right? And the profits has been basically going up for the past uh, five uh, years as well. So from March 2018 to 2021, it was basically at the stagnant range. Uh, that is somewhere around 350 crores. That is once again a very good, uh, uh, you know, profit uh, perspective. Profit when you look at uh, the from the mid cap uh, industry perspective. And in March 2022, the profit shot up to 537 crores. So we are expecting this uh, level of uh, uh, growth to continue in the coming few years as well. So that is why uh, uh, FSL is also showing a good uh, financial uh, quarters and it is all, the fundamentals of this company is also good. And uh, coming to the shareholding pattern, the promoters are basically uh, holding 50 three percentage share and if you look at uh, the promoter share holding it has not decreased that much they have been selling maybe 0 0.0 to that so that is almost negligible right so so any if any company in in any company if a promoter is holding more than uh, 50 percentage uh, uh, shares in that particular company then uh, that com that uh, the management is set uh, uh, to move in a direction that uh, it is beneficial for the growth of the company so the promoters are basically involved in the company and they are uh, looking for the uh, uh to grow the company more and more so that is uh, the indication of this and if you look at the fis and ds fis and ds are also holding a, a bunch of good amount of shares so fis are holding almost a sound point eight percentage and the dis are sorry the fis are holding sound point eight percentage and the dis are basically holding 14 percentage and if you look at the dis holding perspective it is basically uh you know uh ups and downs ups and downs for the past uh, four quarters but from here i'm expecting uh, uh they'll be increasing at at least to two to three percentage uh, and the next uh, coming two to three quarters that is what i'm expecting uh, uh, the dis to play in this particular script okay and uh, this is the dividend uh, perspective so from 2018 the company has been given giving a constant uh, dividends so the minimum dividend what the company was gave was uh, somewhere around 1.5 rupees so the face value of this company is 10 rupees per share and the 1.5 rupees are dividend uh, basically represents 15 percentage uh, dividend right so for a company that is trading at uh, uh, close to 100 rupees uh, per share, a 3.5 rupees dividend is a good level of uh, return so that is giving to its uh, shareholders. So that, that is also a good, uh, uh, you know, uh, positive statement from the company. So let's get back into the chat. So to summarize today's viewpoint, uh, 
FSL is at a good uh, buying zone as of now and uh, the recent pattern the, that is formed over here, the cup and handle pattern formed over here is also a bullish uh, uh, pattern and uh, we already have a clear cut breakout and the rally has already started in this particular script. So this is a good time to invest in FSL and I'm going to invest uh, 50 to 60 percentage of my uh, uh, capital what I'm allocating for this particular script at the current market price and in case if it comes down to one or two points below I'll be entering more and more at that particular point. Okay, so my short term target one is going to be 125 and my short term target two is going to be 135 and the maximum holding period for short term target two to be uh, done is anywhere between uh, two months to four months. So four months is the maximum holding period for 135 levels to be done in FSL. And uh, since it is a good uh, script and the fun of it is also good, uh, we also, I'm also planning to hold the, some of the shares for a long term uh, perspective as well. So looking at the long term perspective, my... Uh, Long term target one is going to be uh, 190, and my long term target two is going to be 100 and sorry 240. And the maximum holding period for uh, 240 uh, to be done is anywhere between uh, one one year to 1.5 years. So within a period of 1.5 years, I'm expecting uh, this FSL script to reach a target of 240. And if you and uh, the maximum potential, the returns uh, potential what FSL can give is 110 percentage and above. Okay, so that is the uh, maximum potential what uh, FSL can give. It can go beyond uh, 240 also on the if you're look if you're uh, planning to hold it uh, for more than 1.5 years. Yeah, and yes, there is absolutely nothing stopping FSL from going beyond 240. But I'm happy with the you know uh, double on return investment. So I'm happy with that, and uh, I'll be closing all of my portions in FSL at 240 rupees per at 240 rupees. Okay, so that pretty much uh, concludes the technical viewpoint on the first source solutions, shortly known as FSL. And I hope you learned some new informative stuff from this video. Please do like our video and please do share our videos with your friends and family members so that uh, they can also benefit from the predictions that we make. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.